Hi everyone, welcome back to the Jansen Art Studio. I'm David Jansen and let's get painting, okay? What I have here is a 12 by 16 board. It's the uh, Super MDF board that I use uh, quite a bit. I use these for a lot of quick uh, practice paintings. When I do a lot of consignment painting and stuff, I use the uh, board on linen and stuff. So uh, some different surfaces, which you'll find with all the videos as I do. You'll, I'll talk about all of them. And what I did on here is I just have a light gray. This is some medium white and some light gray from the uh, Heritage Paint Line Acrylic. And I just put it on and then sanded it lightly and I'm ready to go. Back to our colors, same colors I've been using quite a bit of this year, which is the uh, Cool Red Violet, Naphthol Red Light, Hansa Yellow, Thalo Blue, Black and White, and uh, then I have a little Pine Green out there, and I'm gonna also be adding today some uh, Quinacridone uh, Violet to the colors. These are all made global, and uh, the, the instructions for that are on globalartsupply.com and also in the online learning center and some other places all around the uh, all of our, our entire internet presence all the different websites we have and if you have any kind of questions you can always write Jansen Art Studio at AOL.com and we'll answer them for you okay so uh, I have that there so let's go in and I'm going to do a modified a premier coup uh, type technique today so I'm going to take like this is a number 10 an older number 10 flat and uh, I'm going to um, take a little red and black I like the sketch with some brown type colors sometimes I use burnt sienna if I have it on my palette is any kind of uh, two parts red one part black a little bit of yellow makes some nice beautiful brown uh, type colors and uh, I'm going to put a peony today we're going to paint a peony uh, maybe a, a peony right in here uh, so which I want to do and we'll drop uh, in the idea of the peony uh, stem which will come right here uh, I'm going to open the row I'm going to open this uh, composition up a bit so maybe uh, we'll have a rose sitting right here okay and so we'll do a rose and a peony uh, together here maybe a uh, different smaller rosebud that'll fall down right down to here so this one's going to go up this way that one right here I have a, a rectangular board here I want to keep to that that rectangle uh, feeling of that so and maybe a stem will go out like this this one was this rose maybe we'll give it a little larger give it a little more power that peony is going to be uh, the peony that'll be right here will have a lot of power to it just because of the number of petals that a peony has to it so That'll work uh, in there, and maybe we'll we'll put some other little suggestive stuff back behind here like that, and and so that that's my idea, which I'll start now. This one will will maybe break uh, that stem. We'll we'll bring that in there like that, so we'll get just an idea, and that's what I want is just an idea. I'm gonna you know evolve this quite a bit during the painting, so. That starts that out there. Now there's a couple of ways in which you can do it in working on Premier Coup. You can come in and say, okay, let's, uh, before we even get into the backgrounds here, let's go in and state some of the things that we know. We are gonna take some uh, red, some naphthol red light. Let's put a little bit of the quinacridone um, violet inside of that. Let's put that into the center of our peony. It's right here. We might even put a little bit of that into the center of the rose, cause the two of them together. I want a white peony and kind of a uh, pinky kind of rose here. So we'll, uh, we can even just take kind of a pinky color here of the two of these uh, colors together and just say, okay, here, here is going to be my rose. And I, and I want to paint this kind of casual. And this is what I like to do is I, you know, I, I try to come up with all different kinds of ways to paint and to state flowers and, and paint flowers. And I'm actually going to paint this one a little larger and what it needs to be out here get casual out to it and then we'll step it in as we paint our background into it uh, let's come right in here let's take some some of our whites here this is just another fun way to paint let's put the, where we're going to have our whites here right in like this this in and out movement this is going to be our peony here in and out in and out in and out now you're an artist and you know what I'm trying to always do is I painted thousands of peonies thousands of roses and I can see them in all different kinds of situations so I try to start out all you know many different ways um, so that I can make them look different so and that's what I try to do and so you know there's a certain part in your learning that you will uh, 
you know, try to copy and emulate the same way over and over and over again. Then after you do a few hundred of them, start stepping out and doing other things with it and try it. Because once you can see them, you can kind of see where that peony is going to go and the movement and stuff in there like that that's going to go. Then you can start going out and exploring and, and trying some other things, uh, you know, that's going to make uh, these peonies and stuff just... just uh, work better and have more interest. So we're going to try that today. So we'll do that one there and we'll take just a little bit of this reddish color out here for maybe this, um, you know, this this rose that'll come right down through here like this. Let's step in some uh, greens here. We'll, we'll put out some green leaves and stuff like that out into this area. So we'll just step those in and let's just Push that color in there like that. We'll push a little bit of that color and that movement out into here. And we're going to do the background here next. So this is how casual I am. I'm just creating movement. I'm just creating some movement here. And uh, that's all I want to do is just push this color around here like this. Create some movement. We'll create some uh, movement out here like that and just get light and airy and sketchy and it starts your whole feeling getting light and airy and sketchy not messy everything is casual it's not messy okay even though it may look a little messy it's not messy don't even go there don't even say those words that it looks messy because that's a negative connotation that you're putting into your painting okay i'm relaxing the lines i'm casualing up the lines here and that's what I'm trying to do is just casual up these lines. I'm going to be creating some movement and stuff like that into these, uh, these uh, the peony and the, and the rose and stuff here like this. And this whole feeling of it right now, it's just very fly away and very casual. And I want to try to maintain that, okay? But don't get into, don't sit there and say, oh, you know, I had some students uh, that would say, oh, you know, that's ugly or anything like that. And they're not students anymore. I... That is a, a negative connotation. Don't ever put yourself down as an artist, you know, especially when you're trying new things. That's what you're trying to do. You're trying to, trying to do new things and new ways of doing things. And that's our job. Now I'm going to take a little bit of my grayish color and push that in. And look at the movement and the edge. This is what I want. I took a little bit of that red and that green, push it together here. We'll push some nice light into this as well. So this painting is going to be the red and keen off a lot of the red and green. We'll have a little yellows and stuff into it as well. But let's just paint off of this key off of these light colors like this. Okay. And look at this. Watch this. Pushing this green into here. Look at the, look at the wonderful movement of color that you can suggest back into there. Move these, move these tones back in here like this. Just move that around. Here, look at all of that, that beautiful working into that, that rose there. Here, let's just grab this. Grab some of this right up over here like this. And let's just grab some of that and toss that in here as well. Right into this background, right in the edge of this row. So I'll come right up here to the edge of the road. Now watch. Just push your finger right into that nice global wet color like that. Thank goodness all of this is non-toxic because I, I paint with my finger all the time. <laughs> so it's really great to be able to do that. And we'll work that together. Look at that. Out like that. That's this wonderful movement. Splash down movement there. Look at this. And we'll just put a little bit of this lighter color right up in here. Like that love that let's put a little tiny bit of yellow into that as well just to get that yellow color going in there that's nice pull that through like that see that little splash of yellow just adds a lot right in there matter of fact let's just splash some of that yellow let's just do that right down here right down this side why is it there because well, I want it and it's different. There we go. Isn't that kind of pretty? That's different. Let's put a little bit right over there. There we go, like that. That's pretty. And let's go down. 
Let's get some more of our, let's head to some, some of our uh, cornacridone violet and some of that green. This will make a darker, a uh, little darker, cooler gray color right down here. That uh, Let's go a little more green here. A little more green. Maybe even a tiny touch of black. A little more violet into that. Just find a nice color that's pretty. Right down here. We'll work this right this way. Right into this. Here, there we go. Right like that. So that's kind of a nice pretty coloring there. Let's step back just a bit more so you see more of the board. And then we'll just kind of work these together here. Work these color movements together. There we go. I love this. And I love the vignette paintings. And if I don't vignette paintings, I love this movement to come out like this. To come all the way out like this. There we go. Let's drop some of this right down in here. Here. And here. Over this side. Get a little light color, a little yellow, a little light color right in here. And, um,. Down right in here. Let's put a little of that yellow right down there. So I'm just looking at some of this movement here. That peony will come right in there like that. Maybe a bit more light splashed right in there. That's pretty. That's what I look for. Now I've got all this interest in this background. I better make some really interesting flowers as well, right? Okay, so we're just going to streak this just a bit, that little bit of light in my brush, just kind of create some, uh, some streaky movement right through the painting here. And I like to add those kinds of movements too. I like that uh, because it just gives power and movement to the painting and it's different. Now let's just come back, let's grab, let's make kind of our stems a little green-brown color here. And we can add a bit of black to that. And so a little green and red and black. And let's just, now we'll get a little more specific with some of our stems here, where our stems would be, how they would be pulling through here. Like that for these uh, flowers. And sometimes I'll just create uh, another one in there. And sometimes I'll give the ideas of, uh, like if there's the rose, I'll give the idea just to use a little chisel like that, like there's a little thorn to it or something, you know, sometimes I do that so on there. Okay, let's, um, so that sets that up pretty well. Let's come in now and uh, let's pick up some black and green. Maybe a touch of the Hansa yellow in there. Just vary it up a bit. And let's put on some uh, contrasting green here. And model that out. And travel that out just a bit here. Okay, like this. Just, just kind of create the, mo the modeling movement. Now we can create. It all depends. You know, you, ca you can create more definite uh, petals like this. Petal shapes you know, to the, like roses and stuff like that. So you can define. So sometimes I, I get very playful with the, uh, you know, with the leaves. Uh, and that's my favorite way to paint the leaves. And then sometimes I'll, I'll come in and I'll set leaves in a little bit more uh, precise so that they have a little bit more defined shape. It all depends on for me, as the painter, it all depends on how much interest and stuff I'm going to give the uh, the flowers and the roses, the peonies themselves. If they have a tremendous amount of interest, then they can compete up against the lines of the leaves, perfect leaves. If they're softer flowers, then I get very playful with the leaves so the leaves don't compete with the flowers because it's supposed to be about the flowers. Some artists paint their leaves too well, and the leaves distract from the... Uh, from the flower, so we don't want to do that, okay? So let's just come in and let's just say, here's gonna be this peony, here's gonna be some leaves, 
and some movement of some leaves coming out here boom like that okay and uh, we'll have just a few little leaves here leaf shape we'll let that kind of tack up and, and we'll define those a little bit later here this one might be a bit long and that's what's nice about having this color here I'll just just go like that and take that back out yeah it's like in having an eraser here so let's just set one up right in here like that for right now like a peony leaf that's a little bit larger and uh, and tapers down like that just a bit and maybe a smaller little one let's get a little more green over onto that a little so it's not quite as dark right about over here we'll drop one out there a little bit just casual shapes to them they uh, I don't like to get I, I'm gonna shape them up a little bit but I don't like them to be perfect shapes there so we'll just leave that for right now right there and then maybe a little playful out here uh, so we don't compete it up against that rose too much yeah we'll get some that right in there okay now let's go up and we have to uh, we're, I'm gonna start with the rose now one reason why I'm gonna start with the rose the peony will win the peony has more petals on it so it'll win or it'll win and sometimes I start right with the peony but this time I'm gonna start with the rose and just paint a pretty back rose back here and I can come back and revisit it again and then I'll paint the peony depending upon how much uh, you know how it's gonna look up against the rose so I'm taking a little bit of quinacridone here and a little bit of red violet nice cool color here and I'll find the bottom edge of the bowl of this uh, this rose here right there like that and in the inside there is the throat of the rose here we'll take a little bit of quinacridone just a nice bright color and let's just put that right out here like that right on this side matter of fact let's just pull some of that right out down here onto this side of this rose and this rose will let this go very bright we'll make this formal we'll bring these two together you've heard me say that in other videos formal means that they're overlapping slightly we'll just overlap those slightly there okay maybe a bit of our bright red into that as well before we go into some of our whites and stuff but we'll just set up some brighter color here let that just soften out right up there Okay, look at, that, look at that color modeling through there. And then I just run my fingers through like this and it's not blending them together. I'm working, incorporating those colors together here, letting them sit and move through the rows here. Just work the colors through the rows so I have a warm side and a cool side, okay? And this nice deep darker cool side right down here right in there I'm going to take some of this nice cool color and just reset this center of this peony here right in there like that okay work those colors work those petals there okay now we'll now we're going to come in and uh, let's just start it all right in here. As a matter of fact, let me just take some of this gray color here. Let's just push this right up here. And let's just grab some of our warm color, some of our naphthol red light, some of our cornacridone violet, and then some of our uh, red here. And let's just grab some white right down here. And we'll find beautiful rose painting colors warm color here slide towards the naphthol red light warm it up cool colors here getting colder colder so will you save that for the shadow side so on the warm side here i'll strike and pull down just a bit here like that and let's just pull that down just a touch there we'll move through the center of the rose just a little bit of movement here through it like that a little bit of movement let's slide over here to the the lights 
and we'll set up a, the first big petal there. We'll set up a smaller little, or the outside petals here, like that. We're going to paint these very transparent, very quickly here, so that, and we're just going to let the painting just kind of have this soft look to it, this very translucent look to it. That's my plan here. So it means I'm going to be very careful with my white because as I start to add more and more white, these flowers will become really opaque. So I don't want to get, I don't want to go there too much. So I'm just going to add, be careful with my white. So I'm going to, and when I do this, what I do is I strike a light and then I wipe my brush and then I lift off like this. And that, uh, so I can strike a highlight out like this. If I wanted to leave that, I would just wipe my brush and I can lift out like this and control just how much of an edge you see there on those on those petals like that of that rose. So I want to build this just a bit more here to the front of the rose here. So we'll drop this around here like that. pull down so my bowl is coming around like this this is coming around like this all my brush movements have to be here to to kind of say up and down and and kind of find the shape of that rose that way and then I want to slowly bring more light in to the front of the rose right in here so I strike a heavy dose of contrasting color there or nice uh, light color and very thick paint. I'm painting with very thick paint. If I want to uh, soften that or lift off, I can put a, let's put a little cooler color shadow into my brush like this, just a little bit. And I can lift off like this and, and pull some of that light back. Then tap my brush, put in a softer little light and pull down here. And rather than working it back and forth and back and forth, back and forth, if you do that, uh, you'll make the rose all one color. So, you know, think about, you know, laying on thick color and then lifting off as you need to here to uh, to get the look that you want to have that rose to have. And that's kind of a pretty little look there. And let's just drop that in like this. Nice little uh, bit there on that rose. And maybe a uh, little... Uh, touches of light color here just pick up see just a tiny little corner just slide your brush like that pick up that corner this fusion brush is just perfect for that it's one of the things it was designed to do and we'll pick up a little edge there I'll wipe my brush and just touch that edge a little bit and pull down and that'll give just a little sense of movement and I create the idea of a petal there let's create another one right here right like that wipe my brush Pull down slightly, like that, and I'll create that petal edge there on the rose. So I got a pretty little rose there. Okay, let's uh, leave that one for just a moment, and let's come back in towards this peony. Now, some of these yellow that we have here, let's take some of that yellow because peonies have little touches of some of these other colors and yellows and stuff out there like that. So let's touch a little bit of that. Okay, let's model some of these pinks together here. And we'll just kind of tap them around here, like that, right around like this, in here to create that movement in the penny. I'm going to re-tap in some of that cool color right in here, just to get that movement in there. So let's get back towards that white and pink. Tap some of that around. That makes the smaller little petals out here. Now I'm gonna, after I set up my feeling there into the center, what I'm gonna do is head out here and let's uh, just suggest the shapes here, the outside of these petals here of the peony here, the larger outside petals of the peony 
and we're going to put one right over the rose here like that pull in pull in towards that thing and that will make the two of them formal here and uh, we'll vary make some more a little bit more pointed here like this and just pull in and see you got all those beautiful tones out there like that those beautiful tones now start to come together here there we go in like that pull that in yeah a little bit light there there just like that so now I've got the outside of the peony set and then the inside, now all I got to do is go in and fill up with some of the uh, other little petals. Now, I'm going to drop down to do that. I'm going to drop my brush size down just a bit down here towards a four or six. And uh, I'll slide into some of my white, maybe a little bit of green and a little bit of yellow into that. Just to help drop the, the, the lightness of that white down just a touch. And because um, I want to be able to put on some white little highlights now i'm just going to move this around here you the peony has a lot of smaller little movement petals on the inside so i kind of skip that brush around like that then i can slide up to some of my uh, a gray color made from some green here and some red and i'm constantly varying this type of color but you can lift off like this and that'll put like little shadows in between those petals like that so We'll kind of drop some of these in like this. Some of these light colors like this. And all different kinds of ways to uh, paint peonies. I want to have some lighter petals back out here like this. Just kind of skip some of them around like that. Drop, drop in a little bit of that grayed color. Lift some of that shadow in there. Lift, leaving a little bit of that light edge to that petal. Okay, we'll model up some more. Maybe uh, little touches of light here. And you can get, just roll and push with the point of that brush too. And you'll make some of the real wispy type of uh, petals. You know, the little, you know, sometimes they get these little, um, little tiny ones, just the little lights of those. And you can make those appear that way. Here, let's grab, work some little bits here. There, like that, and grab a little bit of that shadow. Work some of that in. So I put in the light, and then I'll work the shadow. You've got to think of. Um, Someplace in in here, you know, some of these will be stroked more with the shadow color as well. So you might drop some of that nice shadow room. So what? See, I get us all this beautiful movement. That's what I'm looking for. That's what's going to go on with this peony. Is this movement here? We'll tap some of that around here and. Uh, a little bit dark, darker, darker, right in that very center of that peony. Okay. Then we'll pick up some more of that light and just um, little light petals, edges. You know, little, little, just little strikes. That's what I'm. trying to impart here just little things there like that okay and uh, little strikes here and then you got to imagine see it, it all these petals here are going to be uh, you know, flowing just like a rose as they go around and they're going to be closing up like this and, you know, and then opening up. So these open up out here like this, maybe dropping down. This peony's falling down this side, so you may 
you know, push some of these out like that. And, you know, and then um, as they get up to this side here, you may be closing some of these down here and pushing some of that around like that so that it feels like it's closing up into its little bowl. You know, use the little edge here, feel like it's closing up here. Put a little shadow in and just help that direction of those. There, that little bowl there. So it's almost like you're you're painting a little bowl here, you know, just but you're getting a lot of this movement, light and dark movement and little uh, light here. So I'll put on a light edge, grab a little shadow, lift out to that shadow, lift that shadow out towards the draw another little light here. Fill in a lot on this penny. And, and just pushing that color around and we'll there we go. Just I like to try to I, if I feel like I was getting a little bit um too much the same type of uh movement there. So I just reset it and just you know I want to uh try to make each of the sides here look a little bit different here so that the peony looks completely different and so I've got some of that movement now established now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and uh, start to really suggest the shadow area of it so I'm going to head over here towards the cools a little bit of green and some of my cool colors right down through here and now we're going to put the shadows in in and out here on this side of the peony here as well. So I got it, I got it, the color moved. I've got modeling of the color. Now I want to come in and really kind of state the the shadows here. And I might go back to my little bit bigger brush here so it goes a little quicker. Here. So I've got this nose. Now see what you want to do is you know, you have a, a feeling on the rows of the light side and the shadow side. So you want to have this feeling impart onto your peony as well. Because it does. It has a light side and a shadow side. So we'll pull out here like this. And that does a good job right there. Here, let's uh, just even pull this out a little bit further out here like that. There we go. A little bit out there like that so that gives up see how it gives a better feel to it so go around work your peony till you get comfortable with its movement then come back in and basically change it to get some of that light and shadow and you know just like I do with the rose I, I put on a rose and then I come back in and work it several times to get its light and shadow and some of its feel to it We'll just grab some of this little light here. Pull that right down in there like that. And uh, push this around. To say that edge of the peony here, a little wiggling. Edge of that, just wiggle the brush a little bit there and the thing is always making it look a little bit different from side to side and the feeling of it and there like that and let's lift some shadow up there man that's kind of pretty that, that looks kind of pretty let's build up little more structure of light bang bang right up in here into the front just lots of textures right up here more structure of light here just like that and then let's push some of that out of the way there we go Like 
that. So you get a nice feeling of the light coming through there now. So this is light side, light side. We can have a little bit more of that light building right up here because this is the light side of this one as well. Let's drop this edge of this peony right up on top of that. Right there, let's push in and out. Keep that movement there. You know, we're gonna say light side here. So we're saying light here. Right there like that. A little bit of shadow there. That's pretty. Let's deepen just a bit more our shadow here. So I'm gonna take a little of my reds, my cooler reds and my green right here. Let's just darken that down just a bit more. Okay, and deepen our shadow right up in here on this part of the peony. That'll deepen our contrast here. Deepen this side there. Maybe even towards that yellow, because you you know we have that yellow up in there, which most of it's gone. You pick up a little bit, but get a little bit of that yellowish color in there, right in there like that. That's kind of nice. There we go. And that looks pretty. That's this. See, it's all that movement, and it's it, it, it's like I paint. I paint to create movement. That's what I'm thinking, is I'm creating movement around and following that movement. And then my mind will shift to light and shadow. Um, I, I don't do all of that at the same time because then everything will become stiff. So I create movement, then I think light and shadow and petal edge and go back and think other colors and each time stroking and touching. And uh, that is what really makes them light and airy and fun, okay? and uh, casual, and that's the biggest thing. Everyone wants to say, how do you paint casual? Well, you know, I, I, I'll change. This peony has changed a hundred times since I started it here. It's changed so many times. And the final one is completely different here. So, uh, you know, now I'll come in and do a little bit of negative painting to, to clean up and really deposit a, a nice area of, of light there. Uh, let's just come in and quickly suggest a little bit here, but don't be afraid to play. It's not play around with it, but I'm painting specifically for movement. That's what I'm looking at is the movement of that peony. Okay. And um, so each side here looks different. See how each side looks different? That's the key to it. So the first time when I started out, it looks almost the same, you know, going all the way around. Well, I'm just looking for movement. Then I'll change it. Let's get a little bit of our, that's a little bright. And how do you kill that down? Get a little of that green in there. Let's tone that down with a little, gray that down with a little of that green. And that's a beautiful tone that works in there. That'll set that rose right back in there like you know what you're doing because it's the whole painting here is really just the reds and greens here. There, we'll just set out a little brighter green back there. Here, got that paint on that edge there, a little loose. I'm just gonna take a little red violet, a little green, cause it's toned down. And we'll drop that right back in there. We'll let that just sit right there on the edge of this rose. And then give the impression of this rose coming out a little bit more here. There's just some rose movement back here need a medium for that rose movement medium then you know get that just right there we go just out there like that so that's kind of pretty okay now we'll uh you know you could put in like little yellow flowers to lighten this whole thing up or so uh, i'm just going to go right into some leaves here i'm going to take some nice uh, brighter yellow green here and uh, we'll, we'll come through and we'll just, I want to get some, um, 
brighter, happier greens here. And uh, not always quite so yellow green. Let's get some other pine greens into that. Just work some greens here. This is basically, uh, this painting is basically going to be about the peony and the rose here. So we're going to leave it just as, as that. So I might put another little rosebud back over here. I think I will. But uh, we'll leave uh, basically that. I'll put a little red right into some of this green to tone that just a bit out here. So we'll get some of that, and we can use that to help uh, shadow and to say vein lines and stuff like that. Model your brush. Many different greens. We'll lighten up. Just use the corners of the brush here, airy, to fracture some of that up there, like that. Okay. Let's grab some of that right down here, kind of transparent. Drop that down there. Let's grab a little bit transparent out through here. Just movement through there. Let's grab a kind of a light pinky, dirty, whitish kind of rose here. Just a rose bud. Maybe a little toned color into the center to suggest the center there. Maybe this is a peony bud here. When that that if that's the case, you'll oval it up just a bit more. Let's just take a bit of white gray down here and drop that right in there like that. And then we'll say we'll do this very quickly like that. Close it up a bit here. And that'll make it look more like a peony bud here. Won't do too much of it because well, because it's white and you do too much, you'll start to advance it in front of that rose. So we'll just let it sit back there very soft. Just a little bit of the light here like that. And let's just add a little bit of the tone it gray it down add a little bit of the reds to green down gray down those greens a little bit of the reds there gray it down model through some of your colors if you're thinking in the back here you got to gray it down which means you got to add some greens and um, then you've got I mean, reds to the greens and then you got to get uh, a uh, little bit of white in there to lighten it up so there's no contrast to it okay get the idea of a little calyx there and a little stem to that one just bang just get it done paint with confidence just paint bold and confident and it's paint that's the biggest thing is paint bold paint confidence it's paint and you can come back and change anything that's the beautiful thing about it you can come back and change anything okay so it's just paint don't let it, don't worry it. It's just paint. Let's get some of this other movement out here like this. And idea of maybe a leaf or so coming in through there like that. Just some movement. Here. There we go. Just some movement. Now let's put just a little bit of our lighter green and yellow and some gray and white because we want to keep that just a bit soft here it's a bit a bit light too quick too quick light a little more pine green here some other greens other little lights suggestion of some leaf shapes so I'll leave some of these as like more defined leaf shapes and then I'll put some suggestions I really uh, I really, it, in my painting, I really like the leaves to be understated. And, you know, leaves are something I've, you know, painted perfect all my life, especially with the decorative painting. And now when I come in to paint these, I like them to be more understated and not quite so perfect in what I do. So, 
just adding a little light here and there. Push that through just a little bit. There with the light. There. Let's add just a little bit of that nice gray green light. A little yellow in that, but just a tiny bit because you don't want this bright. I just want it light. So you just got this feeling of just layers of fun leaves there. And lots going on in that plant like that. Put a little bit more as a shadow, shape defining shadow on this one here like that. That will, and see a little bit of this will a little bit of this green like this will define that edge and actually put that rose right there up in front of that peony a little bit better by defining that edge right there see so and negative painting like that is so very important we'll just define up and and fracture up these edges here like on the peony right up in here that that fractures that edge up with this and you know this this boom 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 like this up against that dark color just adds a lot of interest to your painting we'll just drag a little bit of that out like that reset just a few of our little uh, thorns here the look of those thorns and again, it's it, it's I do it just kind of quick and 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 uh, just to say it's I don't make perfect little thorns like that. I just put some lines up there, and I find that that is adds the interest to that. I like it. I don't think I'm going to touch any more on that because it'll just make a mistake. Thanks very much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed these videos here on the uh, on Painted Simply and on our YouTube channels. Look for more. You got lots more going on. And I'll look to forward to painting with you again. Give it a try. Get lots of paint in there. Just be bold and try. And it's going to take practice. It's going to take lots of them. But you can do it. I did it. You can do it. Okay? I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.